Hi there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alina. On this channel, I like to share all things knit. Things that I've knit before, things that I'm working on. Um, and so today's video is actually going to be a video of my winter 2024 knitting plans. I know it's a little late in starting this. We're nearing the end of winter. But where I live, it's actually pretty cold until like April. So I thought it would be appropriate to film this just because I feel like I could get a lot of use out of my winter knits even if I start them now. So now these are knits that I would like to make for this winter. I don't know if I'm going to get to all of them. Um, there's six items that I want to share with you. A few of them I've actually already started so I'll show you the progress of those but I'm really hoping I can actually get to finish at least a few of these and I'm really excited to share them with you so before I start I wanted to share what I'm wearing today it is the levitate wrap by my favorite things knitwear I'm gonna stand up a little bit here as you can see it has this little bow on here um, I actually I actually share this sweater in my things I knit in 2023 so if you want more details on it you can check out that video I'll link it down below for you guys but without further ado let's begin in showing you my plans for this winter so I've been knitting for over a year now um, and I've never actually made a hat so that is definitely on my list of things I want to make for this winter just because my head gets so cold and I used to have a lot of hats like knit hats but I don't know where they all are um, so I decided that it's probably time I actually make my own and the hat that I've been wanting to make is a Stockholm hat by Petite Knit I'll insert a picture over here somewhere to show you guys what it looks like um, I really like this hat I like that it has the little flap at the top of it i think those are really cute um that's mostly like my style that i like for hats so i really want to make this by the way i'm gonna look at my phone for any notes that i have so if you see me looking down that's what i'm looking at but this hat uses a dk weight of yarn and i believe it's like a ribbed pattern i haven't looked into it too too much of like the detailing in it i just really like that little flap at the top so honestly i was hooked when i saw that now the yarn that i actually want to use for this if you watched my last video of the things i knit in 2023 you would have seen that i am currently in the process of knitting up the mia sweater by Coco Armor Knitwear, but I had to unravel it so many times that I kind of lost interest in making it So I was kind of debating whether I want to continue making it or if I want to unravel it completely and just do a whole new project So I actually decided I would unravel it and just make something new out of it Just get better use out of the yarn because right now I just have no interest or motivation to actually pick up that Mia sweater Maybe I'll come back to it another time and I'll just use different yarn. But as of now, I'm going to use that yarn for this hat. So as you can see, it's just a big ball of yarn right now because I had to unravel it so many times that it's just a big ball of yarn now. But the yarn that this is, is um, the Knitting for Olive Merino held together with the Knitting for Olive Soft Silk Mohair. So it actually makes a dk weight and that's what i'm going to use to make this hat and i really like this color too it's like a neutral brownish grayish color so i think it'll look nice as a hat and i'm excited to see how it goes this is probably one of the items that i would want to start as soon as possible just because i would want to finish it um bef before it starts getting like too warm to wear out anymore and we're actually going to a place next week where there's going to be snow so i was hoping that i can actually start this soon and be able to wear it there that is, that is my goal we'll see if we can actually get there but that is my plan i don't know if i can finish it in a week i actually started to knit a hat last year i wanted to give it a try and i don't remember what pattern i used but i don't think i knew what gauge meant or anything like that i made it so it could be for my dad and it ended up being so big it literally like was this big like when i put it on my head and yeah he put it on himself too he was drowning in it it was so bad so i'm hoping that this hat goes a lot better i feel like hats are kind of like one of the basics that you learn to do when you knit so i'm really hoping it goes well i think it will i don't think i've had a petite knit pattern fail me yet so let's hope that this works out 
but yeah that is my first knitwear garment that i want to make for winter 2024 okay so to actually go along with this yarn i decided i also want to make some fingerless mittens or gloves whatever you call them they are by pearl soho so it's a free pattern that i found and it's actually a pattern that shows you how to make a cap and like mittens so i'm only going to make like the mittens but i'll do the fingerless mittens um the reason i want to do this is because my hands get so cold but i still want to have access to like using my phone and stuff i don't want them to be covered completely so i really want to try to make this and i think i'm going to be using the same yarn as my as my hat just because i think it'll look cute to kind of match um yeah so that is my plan i'm really excited to do them i think they will turn out cute if i can actually get it down <laughs> i don't know i've never made an accessory like that small before like usually all i knit are actual like sweaters and tanks and stuff so hopefully it works out and i hope it doesn't take too long to make either because i would like to wear those like in the winter time as well not go into springtime so those are probably two items that i would want to start on as soon as possible just so i can have them done and wear them for this winter okay my third garment that i want to make for winter 2024 is the lulu slipover by petite knit it's so cute i actually really like this i don't actually have any clothing items that look like this but i think it's super cute and that i would actually wear it so i'm really excited to cast this on i really like the color of the garment that she posted on her ravelry but i didn't really want to go out and buy new yarn for most of these projects just because i have so much stash yarn that i really need to use up that before i actually go go on and buy more so this garment calls for worsted weight yarn um the gauge is 20 stitches by 30 rows for like a four inch by four inch i actually haven't tested the gauge yet for the yarn that i want to use on this I'm really hoping that I hit gauge though because I I don't want to go out and buy new yarn for this. But speaking of yarn, this is the yarn that I want to use on this sweater. So I have the Isayur or Isagur Highland Wool yarn, which it is a blend of 100% wool. So it is like it doesn't feel that rustic but it does feel a little bit rustic like when i put it up to my skin like my neck um it's not like that itchy but i remember i swatched this a while ago because i've had this for a few months now and i just haven't used it but like i swatched it and it was a little itchy so that's kind of a reason why i want to do it in this lulu lulu slipover because i would wear it on top of like a sweater underneath like a, a like a tighter a tighter sweater underneath so that's why i think this would be a good yarn to use for that just because i don't think i am a fan of 100 percent wool it is a little more like it's not as soft as merino wool i love merino wool but um 100 percent like straight up wool is a little bit more itchy for me so i think this would be good as like this slip over just because it's not directly on my skin so this one is actually a lace yarn because it comes in 50 grams for 275 meters so there's a lot of meters in this um so it is a lace weight you can kind of see it it is pretty thin when i got it i don't know why i thought this was a dk i guess i wasn't that like experienced in my weights of yarn so this is a lace weight and this pattern call calls for a worsted weight so my plan is to actually combine this with this mohair by drops kids silk i've had this yarn for probably close to a year now i don't know i i don't know i just got it to cast on something i don't even remember what anymore and i just never used it because i didn't have like a green yarn i could combine it with and i know this is like not close in color at all but i think it'll work just because it's like mohair always ends up working out somehow so i think it'll be fine um to combine these together i'm actually going to use two of these held together with this so three strands held together i think should give me that worsted weight yarn hopefully that is my that is my plan um, and I hope it works out 
And I think this would be a cute color, like this green as a slipover. I think it would be cute. And I am excited to start this. I think it would look really pretty. And it's just like one of those garments that I don't have in my closet, so I want to have it. And so that is one of my garments that I plan on casting on for this winter. All right, sorry if my camera angle changed. My husband actually came in and gave me some hot chocolate. So sweet of him. Um, but let me... <laughs> Do you guys love this hot stuff? I think my friend got this for me like years ago. Okay, but let's continue. I am almost done showing you guys my plans for this winter. Okay, so my next item that I would want to knit, it's actually between two items. I don't know which one to choose. It is sweater number 26 by My Favorite Things Knitwear or the Harlow Sweater V-neck by Kadri. I don't want to take on both of these items just because it's kind of a lot of garments for the winter and I don't want to ruin my hands honestly from knitting too much because right now like both of my hands are like really numb and I think it's because I've been knitting a lot these last couple weeks so I don't want to give myself too much. But the sweater number 26, it requires a DK weight yarn and I do have this yarn if you guys have looked at my instagram i actually showed um a progress picture of sweater number 26 using this yarn it is the lana gato vip yarn it's an 80 percent extra fine merino wool and 20 percent cashmere so it's a really soft yarn i do want to make something out of this but as i was saying if you have been to my instagram you would have seen a progress picture of sweater number 26 using this yarn now i started this with only withholding only one strand of this yarn and honestly it was not turning out exactly how i wanted i think my gauge was a little bit too small or something because when i would try it on it was just like very kind of tight on me like it wasn't it didn't have a lot of room to work with and so i ended up unraveling it all i think i had already finished the body finished the ribbing all i had left to do was the sleeves and I decided I don't want to do this anymore. I I will probably use this yarn for something else. So I unraveled it. Um, now, I'm kind of debating if I were to knit that again, maybe I would hold two strands together instead of one. And that would give like a thicker material and maybe make it look a little bit more oversized, which is the look that I'm kind of going for. So that is one option. Now the second option is making the Harlow Sweater V-neck by Kadri, which actually uses a worsted weight yarn. And this one, I think when I first got it, I think they told me it's like a DK weight. So I th so that's why I only held a single when I did the sweater number 26, but it's more of a sport weight. It is not a DK weight. Like this is too thin to be DK. So I'm thinking if I do the Harlow Sweater V-neck, I would also hold double the yarn and I would most likely need gauge because I think two sport weights would definitely make a worsted weight. So I don't know what to do. I just finished the tenon v-neck sweater by Kadri and I really like that pattern and I'm wondering do I make another v-neck? I do like the v-neck look though. So like even this you can, it kind of has a v-neck. I mean it's just like a wrap. <laughs> But I don't know, I really like it. So I'm kind of leaning more towards the Harlow V-neck sweater. Um, but I don't know, I'll have to think about it a little bit more and decide. But I do have the yarn for it. It is the Lanagato VIP. So I definitely need to use this up because I think I have like six balls of this or something like that. All right, so the next project I have, I'm really excited to do this because I've been wanting to do this for over a year now as well. A lot of these projects I've had on my list for like a while that I want to do, I just never got around to it. And that is the Oversized Seasons Cardigan by Ozetta. Now this pattern uses a worsted weight yarn as well. So a lot of these patterns use worsted weight, I just realized. But the gauge for it is 15 stitches by 30 rows. So... I have the yarn for it. I actually ordered this like a week ago and it is the Barocco Ultra Alpaca yarn. It is this gray color. I don't have any knits in a gray, so which is surprising. I feel like I would have more grays, but I don't. I have a lot of nudes and like pinks, so I got a gray because I think everyone should have a gray garment in their closet. It's a staple color, honestly. Now the quantity 
of this fiber is 50% super fine alpaca and 50% Peruvian wool. So as you can see, it also has wool like the um, like the Highland wool. So I did like kind of test it by like touching it to my neck and it's not really itchy, but I feel like it could become itchy like once I actually finish the garment. So I'm happy that I'm going to be doing it as a cardigan because it's just going to go over any sweater that I'm wearing underneath or like a t-shirt or something. So I actually got this delivered last night and I ended up doing a little gauge swatch and it literally turned out so pretty. I love the stitches. So this cardigan is worked top down and I believe um, from what I read, it is worked at the same time as the front band. So I know there's a lot going on at once. I watched the video that Amy from Neenits made um, regarding this cardigan and I know the process took a while for her. I think it was like over six months or something i don't know she said it goes by really slow so i'm a little nervous about that but i do really like the the ribbing of it it's using a half fisherman's rib and so that is what i did my gauge swatch in last night and i think it turned out so pretty so this is going to be the right side that's what it's going to look like i hope it's in focus and then this is the wrong side so very pretty i really like that the stitches are like defined it's a soft yarn i'm excited to work it up um i think it's gonna take a while but that's okay maybe it'll turn into a winter 2024 knit that goes on to winter 2025 i don't know we'll see but hopefully it doesn't take that long because i would really like to have this in my wardrobe i feel like i could also wear it during springtime as well just like with the t-shirt underneath and it would work fine so yeah that is project number five for this winter that I want to cast on. Okay, now I have one last project that I want to knit up for this winter. And I've actually already cast on this item one week ago. And in just one week, I have knit up so much that I... I don't even know how I did this much in a week. But the pattern I want to knit up is the Ingrid Sweater by Petite Knit. I know I have a lot of petite knit on my list this winter, but she just has really nice patterns, so that's why I keep gravitating towards her. The yarn I'm using for this pattern is the Sunday by Sanus Garn, and it's actually a petite knit color. It's the color, let me see, Dust, Dusty Rogue, Dusty Rouge, I don't know how to say that exactly, but it's this really pretty, like, kind of like burnt orangey red brown color i don't know it's like a mix of colors but i really wanted to do something different because i don't think i have this color in my wardrobe at all so i thought it was going to be really pretty now this sweater also calls for a worsted weight yarn like all of the sweaters i guess i'm making this year so i'm actually holding this sunday yarn double like with each other um and so let me show you my progress on this honestly at the rate i'm going i'm like i can finish this in a week yeah we'll see about that i think this is the pattern that's like really hurt my hands though a lot just because it's one of those patterns that you just want to keep knitting to get to the next section of the pattern and i like bef and before i know it i've been knitting for hours and then my hands are just like hurting so much but it's worth it <laughs> so this is what it's looking like as you can see i have connected the back with the front and i'm all, like i'm like starting to knit down um yeah i really like it right now it looks like really crumpled up and kind of like what is what is that <laughs> but i think it's turning out so pretty i love all of the design on this the faux cabling the double moss stitch and then the double ribbing that goes down here. I just think it was written so well. I love this pattern. I've been wanting to knit this sweater for a while now. But I was always like a little bit intimidated by it. Just because of all the different stitches. And I have honestly mostly been making like regular stockinette. So this is definitely like more of a challenge. Oh and then I forgot to mention it has like all these eyelets all around it that just brings it all together it's just so pretty so i'm really excited to get this done um the only thing is i'm a little worried i'm not gonna have enough yarn 
so i am trying to think of like what i'm going to do i ordered it from an online shop and they only had seven balls of this in stock so i just got them all but since i'm holding it double the yarn is going by like really fast and right now this is my third and fourth ball that i'm using and as you can see we're nearing the end so i'm nervous because i only have three balls left that is supposed to be enough for this both sleeves and then the neck area which i think for the neck i'm not gonna do that raised neck that she has in her pattern um i haven't figured out what i want to do yet with the neck but i don't want it to like go up too high i would probably like it if it just kind of goes up a little bit i really like how knits by mandy did her in grid sweater with the neck she did it a little bit different i think it was just like one by one ribbing and it kind of went up like a little bit and i really like the look of that so maybe i'll do something like that i i have yet to decide we'll see though but yeah, I am nervous that I'm not going to have enough yarn. I did message the shop yesterday to ask if they have any more in stock. And so I'm hoping that they end up getting more or something. It would be so devastating if I didn't have enough. And I would probably just have to make this into like a crop ingrid sweater. So I don't know. This is what it's looking like right now though. I really like it. I think it's turning out really nice. I like the color I chose. I think it goes well with like my brown hair too. So, so yeah, that is how that's turning out and I'm happy that we are nearing the end because I do want to wear this maybe for like Valentine's Day or something. I think the color like would be appropriate for that. I don't know. But yeah, those are my winter 2024 knitting plans. I'm hoping I can get all of these done. At least that is the plan. But as you can see, I've already started on one of the sweaters. Also, sorry if the lighting is like changing. The sun keeps going behind and like out of the clouds. So that's why it looks a little darker right now. But if you've stuck around this long, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. But if you'd like to see more videos from me, go ahead and like this video and subscribe. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!